Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another Sura Amateur or Bucket Spigot plug in tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have suggestions, one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment in the jubbles below. I'll give you a shout out when I get around to it. This one, um, once again, was not requested by a lot of people, but was a popular plugin I thought I should I should touch on. I've done a jobs plugin in the past. This is called Jobs Reborn. This is a brand new one, uh, kind of the same idea, but it works a little bit different. It's it's maintained by ZRips or uh, improved by ZRips, originally created by Firstborn, and it supports 1.7 to 1.10. It does require Vault because it has an economy plugin. It does also support MCMMO and Mythic Mobs, which is pretty cool. So let's get into the, some of the commands, then we'll talk about the signs and permissions, and then we'll take a look at the configuration. So it's pretty easy. You do slash jobs, and then you get a whole lot of commands. And it's pretty cool. You can see all the next page by doing next and previous page. So what we want to do is jobs join, and then you're going to be able to see all the jobs that you can join. So um, you can hover over them and take a look at what is there. So we're going to do woodcutter. Now you can click on it and get more information. This is not actually going to select. You can't actually select a job in here. So we're gonna go back into jobs, join wood cutter. That'd be really cool if you could. And now that we've joined that, we can do slash jobs, stats, and then that will have that. Or you can put somebody else's username to find their stats as well. And then if you're maybe curious about what there is, you could do jobs, info, woodcutter, and you can see all the things that you can get and the experience that you can get with that job. So <clears throat> we're gonna go over here and we're gonna cut down this tree and you're gonna see that we're gonna be accumulating money as it goes. You can see we've got 10, 10 money and 10 experience. Basically we get two and a half. Now that updates every five seconds. You can update, you can change that in the configuration if you want it to update quicker. However, if you have it update quicker for users, you might get some lag. Um, otherwise, if your server's having trouble with this plugin, you can always lower that to decrease the strain on your server. Now you can also do jobs space shop. You can open up a special shop. This is also set up in the configuration and you can spend some of your hard earned job points on different kinds of items that you can get in the game. Now, some of these have requirements associated with them. It's super easy to define these and set this up in the configuration, which we'll take a look at in a bit here. Uh, you do have the option to have a signs that will run different commands. However, for some reason it is not working at the moment. I'm um, not really sure why. But you should be able, you can actually, you could put jobs and then um, let's say join minor. It doesn't have to be on the same line. It could be on different lines. But you can see if, since it's not on the same line, we're actually gonna put it on different lines just to keep it cleaner. You can see that it recognizes it. However, for some reason, I can't run it to join that group or that, that job, uh, it is enabled and config, so I'm not really sure what's going on. However, the top list does work, so you can do jobs and then top list, and then let's do wood cutter, and then starting at one, is it, it's gonna go in there and it's gonna be the top four. So then that will be listed there. However, maybe you just wanna show the top one. So we're gonna do jobs, top list, uh, wood cutter again, and then we're going to do one S. Now that's just going to show the first, the first level or the first one, and then the level that they have for that. Um, the other option you can do if you do two S, then it's going to show second place. And the other option is you could do jobs and then G top list starting at one, and that's going to show everybody on that top no matter what their job is. You can change this in the config as you want, as you see fit, and that's the sign. So permissions, pretty straightforward. Jobs.use, pretty much all of them of what you need is enabled by default of what your users would need. That'd be like jobs.use, and then you can do jobs.join.jobname, and then jobs.autojoin.jobname, so that when players start on your server, they automatically join whatever that job is. You can give access to all job commands, jobs.star or jobs.admin, 
um, or jobs.command.star. There's a whole lot of other permissions, but it's pretty much all set up for you right out the gate by default. If you wanna really restrict your users based on permissions, then you'll probably wanna start doing the jobs.join job name so that they can then decide what to join. So maybe you only want VIPs to join certain jobs and, and so on and so forth. Let's jump over, take a look at the configuration file. Okay, so here we are in our server. We're running 10.2 and we're gonna go into our plugins. We are running Vault as well as a bunch of other ones and we're gonna open up jobs. You can see we have a whole lot of extra configurations. The translatable words is pretty slick. That's where you can kind of customize some of the words and verbiage that your server uses and really customize it. It also has the ability to run French words, which is really cool. Let's get into uh, general config and we're just gonna work our way down the list. Okay, so once again, if you're not using Notepad++ to view these files, you really need to use Notepad++. It is a fantastic plugin or a program to use and that's where you can see these green and blue and all that stuff and all of the green is comments and the author providing a lot of information for you on how to use their plugin and the author has done a fantastic job with these plugins or these comments i love this so it's pretty straightforward not much to um, talk about here's where you can set your auto job join and then some information of how you set whatever job that is they join you can also disable jobs in certain worlds so maybe your creative world for example you don't want them to be running it in or a faction world or something like that you can enable or disable logging broadcasting on skill up so when they up their skill you can have it broadcast it's off by default Here's where you can set your max jobs. Here's where you can hide jobs if they do not have the permission to use the job, which is pretty slick, I think. If you turn that on, then your players will only be able to see the jobs that they have access to, which I think is pretty cool. Maybe you want them to be able to see those jobs that they don't have access to so that then they donate or whatever. Um, you can enable paying for near spawners. You can have a near spawn multiplayer, so maybe, um, I think by default, it won't pay for animals you kill from spawners. Maybe you can turn that on by default, but it's 50% less than what they usually get. That's where you set this to 0.5 rather than 1. Or maybe you can have VIPs be fine with, with that percentage. Um, you can enable pay creative. It's off by default. And then this is pretty cool. You can actually set the chat, which I'll show you guys once we get back in it here wrapping it all up if you don't want to run it in here you can set this to false to disable this and then put this this spot in your chat manager plugin and then you can change the colors and what's going to show in there and then uh, you can have a chat separator rather than just a space in here um, everything else is pretty straightforward here's where you can change that delay i was talking about so it's five seconds by default maybe you want it longer because your server's having trouble keeping up or maybe you want it shorter because your server is a champ um, you can change how you pay um, economy points and XP. Now points is those job points that then they can use in the uh, shop to pay for things. You can have uh, minimum overall points. You can set taxes on the server, which is pretty cool. You can set a limit on money stuff. You can set a limit on XP on points and how much they can accrue over time you set repair um for you can get points for renaming things here's your mcmmo plugins and mythic mob settings you have some boost stuff old job sounds signs enabled like i said but it wasn't really working i'm sure that'll come around and then you have a, a job gui down here and uh, open on join so it automatically opens up that stuff, all that, which is really slick. So let's get over to some of these other configuration files now. Now this job config is where you can really tweak and modify the jobs that you have. So you can give some custom jobs rather than the ones that are by default. So the author actually has gone through and made it an entirely example job. It's not actually enabled by default, I don't think, but, um, 
he goes through all of the different settings, which is really, really slick. We have uh, permissions, so you can set it so that they get added, they get a certain permission node at different levels, which is pretty cool. You can see that at level 10, they'll get this A test node too. And then um, at level zero, so as soon as they join the job, they get this so that you can then kind of like restrict um, different things for those people and then you can even set conditions for this job so they need to be a miner level 50 and a digger level 50 in order to even see this job or join the job um, you can also set permissions so they need also essentials.notnoob to join this job and then you have perform which is once they join this job then they get this permission note which is pretty slick and then you can even have it run certain commands at different levels now man you add that is for group manager if you wanted to change this to be pex that would just be pex user and then you have your variables here that you can add into that command which is pretty slick um, you can have them give it different kits so this is giving them the wood cutter wood cutter kit um, at level 150 and it's only level 150 here you can give them custom items which is pretty cool um, this is uh, the items that would be for that that job um, at all times you can have a limited item so only at level five and up they have access to this item and you have your commands join and leave or you could just modify um, any of the jobs that are already there the other option here is restricted areas which is really cool you can restrict jobs from uh, gaining money in certain areas you would just set point one and point two being the cuboid so each adjacent corner then it will create a 3d box depending on between those two so maybe you can give them maybe you want them to accrue more money or less money in that area which is pretty cool you have restricted blocks you can add um, and then the 60 seconds is how quickly how often that that block can be broken um, negative one means that it will be protected and then you even can set up a schedule so you can have it boost everything at night or you can have boost everything at a certain time of the week uh, to kind of try to get people to be active at certain times and playing. Uh, you can set that up, which is pretty cool. Self-explanatory in here, just kind of look on over through that. Now shop items, this is that shop GUI that we looked at and this is where you can set up all of those options. Pretty self-explanatory here. You can also require permission for that item as, and then they get that or a uh, required job for that item. And then you can run this command once it gives that item and then give item and then it gives them that item. So pretty self-explanatory in there. This, this plugin's really slick. It does get up and just go out of the box with the ability to, be, to really tweak a lot of stuff. So let's jump back in, take a look at the chat, and wrap it all up. All right, so you can see that I have um, novice woodcutter. So this is my rank in that job. You can set these ranks. You can change the names. It's all in the configuration as well. You can change how much it shows as well in this stuff. So you can have it spell the whole thing out or just the abbreviation and then the actual job that I have. So those would show up in the, in the chat or maybe you don't even want to have that in the chat. It's all up to you. This is a really cool plugin and giving an option for your players to really kind of earn money and add another layer of gameplay to your server. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Cosmo, and you guys all enjoy the game. God bless.